He's reading the uh, energy of the rope. And then a lot of people watch this video are probably are like, you're scaring him, you're doing, I'm like, yeah. But it's like this horse was being ridden and he can't handle a rope being tossed over his back. Well, if I'm gonna try to ride him, I'm darn sure gonna toss a rope over his back and make yeah. sure he can be okay with that, you know? Yeah. One of the things that's mission critical with whoever's working with him, whatever they're asking him to do, wait and tell him to relax and for his feet to get slower and rhythmic mm -hmm. with how they move. Now, did you hear that noise? Yeah. He had to take a full breath. What's funny is you worked with him probably three or four times longer than what I did and we didn't get that response. Mm -hmm. That response came after the most difficult thing we mm -hmm. asked him to do today, which ended up being this. Yeah. So I just got him to decompress at a deeper level. And so basically because I asked him to do something harder, I signed him up and I made it that much harder for him to add tension. Mm -hmm. Also because I kept his feet moving, mm -hmm. he had to breathe to, yeah. to get relaxed. He's actually the most relaxed right now than he's been the whole time yeah. after doing something that was hard.